friends, Merry Christmas. Did you know that today is the 10th day of Christmas? Christmas isn't over. We're still celebrating. Pretty wonderful. I actually am wondering, and maybe if you come to the Zoom at 930 on Sunday, uh, I'll be there and you can tell me all about your Christmas. What did you do? Um, were you off from school? Did you do anything special on those fun days? Um, did you give a gift that was really fun to give that someone really loved? Um, did you receive a gift that you were really, really wishing for and hoping for and you received it? Well, I would love to hear all about your Christmas. And so, um, Hopefully you can share. Our story today comes from our Spark Story Bible, and it begins on page 230. Now, this story is called The Boy at the Temple. Now, without even reading the story, I bet you could tell me what boy was in the temple. Who do you think it was? Shout it out. You're right. It's Jesus, Jesus in the temple. And this story, uh, Jesus sort of gets left behind. And I don't know if you've ever seen the movies Home Alone, kind of a fun Christmas movie. Uh, the same sort of thing happens in that movie. Jesus gets left behind here and his family leaves. They think that he's with, but really he's not. He stays back in the temple in their church, talking with some of their church leaders, asking them questions and telling stories about who God is and what God is up to in the world. Now, I don't know if you've ever been lost before, but it can be really scary, not just for you, but for your family as well. I think we should hop into the story and then after we're done reading it, I'll have some questions for you to reflect on with your family. Starting on page 230, the boy at the temple. Every year, Jesus' family traveled from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem to celebrate the festival of Passover. Jesus loved going to the festival. He loved the crowds of people. He loved the noise and the bustle of activity, and he loved spending time in the temple. One year, when Jesus was 12, the festival began like any other. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus enjoyed the sights and sounds and activities of the festival together. When the festival was over, Mary and Joseph joined others from Nazareth for a long walk home. But when the group stopped to camp at the end of the first day, Mary and Joseph could not find Jesus anywhere. Everyone thought he had been walking with someone else in the group. Jesus! yelled his parents. Jesus, where are you? Mary and Joseph were frantic. They quickly walked back to Jerusalem looking for him. They searched the city high and low for three whole days until they found Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph were surprised at what they saw. Jesus was in the temple talking with the teachers more than twice his age. He was just a boy, but he could talk about God with a room full of grown-ups. The teachers in the temple were impressed with what Jesus knew. Mary and Joseph were proud, but they were still a bit angry with Jesus. Jesus, why weren't you with us? We've been looking all over for you, Mary and Joseph exclaimed. Jesus replied, why were you looking for me? Didn't you understand that I was in my father's house? Mary and Joseph didn't understand, but with that, they gathered their belongings and began the long wasn't that story fun? I think it's pretty cool that Jesus and his family were celebrating a festival that they celebrate every year that's full of sights and sounds and activities and food. And we just got done with Christmas, right? A big festival that we celebrate every year celebrating Jesus' birth. So I'm wondering, um, as we reflect on this story, 
if there are some special family traditions that you do every year at Christmas time, um, special foods you eat, um, maybe special stories that you tell. Um, those traditions can be really, really special. As we can see in our story from the Spark Storybook Bible today, Jesus really looked forward to this time going with his family. I wonder, how is your attitude like Jesus when you hear God's word being taught? How are you maybe different than how Jesus was? I like to think Jesus knew a lot about who God was, and sometimes I feel like I don't know that much. And so um, I like to listen and ask questions. What are you doing right now in your life uh, to grow in your knowledge of who God is and what God is up to in the world? How can your growing understanding of God's word help you in your daily life? And who can you share the good news with this week? Hmm. One thing that I want each of you to know is that whatever questions you have, come and ask them at church. There's a lot of people there who are willing to learn with you. In the Jewish tradition, which is another faith tradition, adults and children will enter a learning relationship together. And lots of times we think that the adult would be the teacher and the child would be the student. Well, in their tradition, actually, they say that they're learning together that um, you as kids have special knowledge, special insight into who God is just because of who you are and because of your imagination and your curiosity. And so I, Pastor Maria, I learn just as much about who God is from you as you do, hopefully, learn about God from me. And so I want you to remember that. Remember that you know so much about who God is and that you should always feel comfortable asking your questions at church. With that, I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.